it's been a minute. Coffee, one of the better things in life. Now, coffee is one of those things that if you have a lot of things on your plate, you can drink a lot of coffee, you'll be energized. I'm on like my eighth cup today. Maybe that's why I'm speaking so fast. No, in all seriousness, one of the more common questions that I get on YouTube is how do I have time to fit all of the stuff that I do into one day or one week or one month? And to be honest, this is social media, so keep that in mind. I'm only showing you all the times I am productive in everything that I do. I'm not showing you the times where I'm slacking off. With that said, I do probably procrastinate slightly or significantly less than the average person. And I spend a lot more time doing stuff, especially considering all of the things that I do. So one of the things I do is run this store. I also am setting up a 3D business making YouTube videos and I am building two apps now at the same time. I also have my bag of rope bags called the Palm U bag that I have designed, developed and brought to market. So I do have quite some few things on my plate and I would argue that there's one thing that's the main secret to all of this and that's time management and how you organize everything that you have to do throughout a day, throughout a week, throughout a month and how you keep track of those uh, periods in between. And that is what I'm gonna show you in this video. Let's hop on the computer and I'm gonna show you exactly the system I use to manage my time, set up my tasks, my projects, and keep track of everything. I'm gonna also share this template with you down in the description if you want it, it's completely free. You can grab it there, just give them back. Okay, if you click this video, I am sure that you want to learn about Notion and how to use Notion to make the most effective use of your time. And one of the more common questions I get asked is how do you manage your time running for businesses? What software do you use? What tools do you use? And I'm here to show you exactly what I use and also share a template with you. So we're going to dive straight into this template. So this is the template that I've used and I've set it up based on the needs that I have. And I'm sure that it's going to be adaptable to the needs that you have. I call it the operator OS and the operator OS is what I use to manage my week to week, my day to day, my month to month. What I found is that Notion can quite quickly become overwhelming in that you have too many pages, too many tasks, too many functions than you actually need. And a lot of these things that you try to build, try to set up are way more complicated than they need to be. So I have tried to minimize this and make it in five pages only and have a nice overview of everything that needs to be done and make it as digestible as possible on a week to week basis. So first of all, when you come into the operator OS, you have this little dashboard. And uh, for me, the center part of any day or week is the tasks that I have to do. And this can be literally anything. It can be things such as feed the cat. And then I will put that in there, for example. And I try to, if it's linked to a project, then I'll add the project. If it's just a, like any per type of task, I'll leave it as a task. And then I can set the priority to low, medium, high. So I know what to prioritize. Then inside of this tasks list, I have a filter that's done like this. So first of all, it's filtering on when. It's showing the next upcoming tasks first, and then after that, it's filtering on priority. So that we're filtering on, uh, filtering on which is the mo high, highest priority to get to now. This way I can prioritize the tasks that I have for today, this week, this month, and I also get an overview of everything that needs to be done this week so that I can move tasks around if I need to. I find this to work quite well, and I'm quite happy with how it's set up. I can also go into specific tasks. I can add subtasks. So for example, maybe one task is feed a cat. I can to this add subtasks that may be uh, something else, for example, like uh, bring food or something like that. And then as I go along with my tasks, I can also check off these subtasks. If I want to add notes, so if I want to add some sub pages, I can do that here. And I'm also able to, if I'm working in a team, set who is responsible. And I just added this to this template that I built for myself uh, because I'm going to be using this in uh, Arboris Pedigan 2, which is one of the businesses that I do use. Uh, so that's pretty good. If it's completed, we just check it off like so, and it will be removed from the task list. Uh, and then it will appear here in the completed tasks. So we can have open, upcoming, for example. So I can go to one of these tasks and I can change uh, when it's due. So for example, maybe we want to take it, it's due next week, then it, it's not open anymore because the open tasks are just showing the task for this week's as default in the template. Of course, you can always change this afterwards. After tasks, we go scroll down to projects. So I like to structure my things as projects in that for this period of, period of time, I'm going to be working on these types of tasks and this is what I want to get done over this time period. So for example, now 
Uh, I have been using this myself, this type of Notion template, but I wanted to share it with everyone in my community, so that's why I built this. So I had this template that was due uh, or due to be done during this period of time, and they had a couple of lit, uh, tasks associated with this project. So inside of the project, you can add some images, you can add some notes, for example, you can add a due date, a status, so where am I at, am I getting started, is it completed, is it wrapping up, am I in the creation phase, etc. I can add some files to this, I can add some text to this, if it's a brief, like if there's something I need to know, or if there's something someone in my team needs to know. So then I just go about creating tasks that are associated with this project, so maybe this is uh, upload upload YouTube video, for example, maybe that's one of the tasks related to creating this notion. Um, and um, yeah, that's how I use tasks. It's quite simple, it's quite minimalistic. It doesn't need to be more complicated than this. I just want to know what is this working on or what is this overall goal reaching towards and what are the subtasks I need to do for this. And then of course, inside of the tasks, you can also have subtasks. So we leave that view. You can also view this as a completed project. So you can use upcoming projects. I have none right now. Or you can view it as a timeline so you can manage your projects in that way. So this is probably nicer if you're if you're someone who prefers to get a, a overview over a longer time period and not like me who tends to focus week to week and see what I have. If you're someone who plans in quarters, for example. Down here, we have some, uh, some calendars where we can see when the tasks are due. I'm able to move them around like so. So we can change the date of that, for example. We can uh, move it to a whole other month. We can open it in the Notion calendar, which is a nice plugin. And we just get a nice overview over everything that is due. Then, if we go to the navigation here, we're able to press projects. Then we're taken into the projects page. So here we just have an overview of the upcoming projects, everything that we need to do, and uh, everything, every task that is associated with them. We have a tasks page, which is also, yeah, like we can see, if we want to have something that's a little bit more overview day to day. So I'm able to see tomorrow's tasks, rest of the week, rest of the month, so that we can see a priority here. So tomorrow, what needs to be done tomorrow, very clear. Rest of the week, also very clear. Rest of the month. But then I can focus my time mostly on what's going on uh, tomorrow. And same time, same thing here. Of course, we have today's tasks as the number one focus. And we get that as the highlighted, uh, highlighted part. Now here's a plugin called the Pomodoro Timer. Um, for some reason it doesn't, it's not working right now, but it did work before. A little bit unfortunate when I'm recording this video. But um, uh, if you check out the template, which will be linked down below, then you're going to be able to, to check that out. Then in my view, there's also one of the good things about Notion is that you're able to track your habits. So here we have uh, today's habits and this will auto generate every day. So today is check emails, journaling, reading, workout, and then another habit, for example. You can choose these habits by yourself. So you can press into the habit and uh, you can see all of these things. But also inside of the habit, there's a little bit of a journal. So something you're grateful for, what's the intention for today is, and then a highlight of the day and what that I learned today. So a little bit of journaling that you can do at the end or at the beginning of every day or middle of the day, however you prefer it. But you're also able to change these um, uh, those uh, habits that you want to do. So we can go into the habit tracker, we can see these daily habits, we can add one, we can remove one, we can change the name, for example. And then we're able to see a calendar overview here where we can see, okay, how are we progressing over the last month, over the last two months or so in regards to these habits. And of course, we're able to uh, dive deeper into them here to, to see uh, what I, I checked on those particular days. Press open, there we go. So we can read all of those uh, reflections, etc. So that is a pretty quick overview of how, how I use Notion. I make it very simple. Like it doesn't need to be more complicated than this. I think software uh, is meant to be used in the most simple and minimalistic way possible. If you're someone who likes to add a bunch of charts and have a bunch of other stuff to your Notion, then of course, um, who am I to speak about that? I just prefer it in this simple minimalistic way where I structure my life by week by week, task by task, and I tie those tasks to specific projects. Then I also like to have somewhere to take notes, which is something that I've added here. So just a simple notes list with random thoughts. Uh, so I can come back to it later and search it. And also see when did I take these notes so I can look back, for example, see what state of in, what state of mind was I in, when did I take this. Yeah, just so I get that overview. 
But then this is all tied in a nice dashboard where I can see, okay, what are the current projects? What are the upcoming projects that I'm not uh, in this time period yet? And what are the tasks associated? Now, one thing with Notion now is that there's this Notion AI, and this is quite a nice one. So uh, we can ask, So we can ask the Notion, for example, the Notion AI. What are my tasks today? Spelt that weirdly. And it will think a little bit and it will give you an answer in regards to these are my tasks for today. So do a research about the project, as you can see. And then you can use this to get a very nice summary at the beginning of every day to say, Summarize my day, what do I need to do, what are the products I'm working on, is there anything I should keep in mind. So this, this is how I use Notion, it doesn't need to be more complicated. I am sharing this template with all of you. So you can find the template by clicking the link in the bio where it's linking to hermanpogner.com where you're able to just copy, simply copy this, uh, this Notion. Also I'm sharing this as well as some other thoughts in my school community where I'm sharing information about business building, product building, and connected like-minded individuals, but I'm also using it because I'm, um, but I'm also using it because I'm working on a major, major project, which I call the crowd-funded or not funded, a crowd-sourced agency, where I'm going to be able to have a community where we're going to be able to pick and choose from individual members to work on specific inbound problems that I get. That may be software development, that may be UX design, that may be video editing, for example. So if we're interested in that kind of stuff, then feel free to join the school community down below otherwise the notion dashboard is completely free to use to use it you just head to the public website and you press copy up here and you're able to download it if you like these types of videos then feel free to subscribe if you like these uh, these freebies then let me know down below what else you want to see what else you want and i will get them to you but for now thanks so much for watching peace